Welcome to another video. First of all, I want to apologise for my damn window because it's reflecting on my glasses and it's ruining this whole vibe. <laughs> damn you window. But I wanted to keep my glasses on because I am obsessed with them. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm going to be featuring five pairs of glasses. One of them is a pair of sunglasses and they are from glassesusa.com. I was so excited when glassesusa.com got in contact because I personally am obsessed with glasses. Like you guys know if you watch my vlogs, I am in glasses 99.5% of the time. I basically put contact lenses in to film videos or if I'm going out somewhere special. So my obsession with glasses is real and I've got four more pairs to show you including these little cute ones. I love these so much. They've like got half a frame. That's a really cool thing about glassesusa.com because they offer so many different frames that you can basically go on there and find the exact kind of thing that you're looking for. I've got four different pairs of eyeglasses that are completely different from each other and I love that so much. They offer over 2,500 pairs of glasses including sunglasses, kids glasses, basically glasses to suit all of your needs. <laughs> and they have some in-house designers like Muse and Amelia E which are a lot more affordable but then they also have designer brands like Dolce & Gabbana, Prada, Ray-Ban, Oakley. They've got so many different brands. You can get glasses complete with basic prescription lenses from $48 which is insane. And they also offer free shipping and free return and you can return your glasses within 14 days should something not be right and get a 100% money back guarantee which is incredible. And one of the tools that I absolutely loved when picking my glasses is the virtual mirror. So you can upload a photo of yourself and you can basically try on any pair of glasses onto your face. So it doesn't matter that you're not in a shop and that you can't like physically try them on because you can try them on with this virtual mirror and see which ones suit you the most and then get those. And I personally loved using this feature I found it so fun. So if you guys sign up to glassesusa.com, you will receive a special offer. So definitely do that. As I've said, they offer all ranges. So from like cat eye to big ones like this that are clear. So many different types of frames. So there's definitely gonna be one to suit you. So yeah, I will leave a link below. And be sure to let me know in this video which frames are your favorite. And let's get cracking. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put foundation on. I'm using quite a medium to high coverage one just because when I wear glasses, I don't want there to be any like pigmentation on my face because I think it looks really cool when your glasses just fully stand out. So I'm going to be hiding all of my little imperfections. So I have this mirror that was my nan's. It's so gorgeous. On this side it's like all pearly and I use it for my makeup now and it just makes me feel the dog. I'm so unfit. <laughs> I've just run up three flights of stairs and now <sighs> but I'm just gonna blend this in with my beauty blender. Something that I always do when I get ready and I never talk about is I always take the foundation and concealer off of my eyelids that has gone on it. I don't know how people prime their eyelids with concealer because on me it just creases so bad. So I'll take that off and then I'll kind of like blend it back in where the edge is. And now I'm gonna move on to eye primer. I'm just gonna prime my eyes before eyeshadow. Let me know in the comments what's the favorite thing that you've done this summer. So now that's blended in, I want everything to be set really well. So I'm just gonna take a powder and I'm gonna take it on my beauty blender or beauty sponge, whatever it's called. And I just pat that under my eye to set it into place. I don't like to bake. I think this method works really, really well. You just take a bit less powder and pat it into your skin and it always sets my under eyes really well. I set around my nose too. So that kind of area. bit on my chin and then I kind of set in the middle of my eyebrows like on my forehead because that bit gets super shiny on me but for the rest of my face I just take a fluffy brush and I take a little bit of powder not that much and I just kind of run it over to like lightly set everything just realized how bad my hands look on camera oh my god they look way more orange than they actually are what they look so patchy as well 
Oh, I think I've had a bit of a fake tan disaster because my hands have gone a lot darker. Oh my god. They've gone a lot darker than my face and they've gone super patchy. I'm now gonna move on to bronzing because I like to do this before my eyebrows cause I kind of bronze up here and if my eyebrows are done, it takes the stuff off. So again, on this fluffy brush, I'm just going to bronze my face up. So on to blusher, I'm just gonna take a peachy blusher because on my eyes, I kind of wanna do like a matte peachy look today. I haven't fully decided, but I do think that looks nice with glasses. Just put a little bit of blusher on. I think blusher makes all the difference in makeup. I didn't used to love it, but now I just can't not do it. And I'm now gonna move on to highlighter. I'm actually really liking cream highlighter at the minute. So I'm just gonna pop some cream highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones. Also, after this video, I'm going and registering for personal training again for six weeks. It's like a hardcore kind of boot camp and I'm so nervous, but it's something that I really, really want to do. Obviously with having my operation, I was going to the gym before that and then I had my operation and I've had, I've had like five weeks off from it and I was eating so bad as well, I was eating takeaways all the time. So I've put on some weight because when you eat bad, that is what happens, at least to me and a lot of other people. So yeah, I can't wait to just get rid of it. Oh my god, my hands. Oh. So pretty. Right guys, it is time for eyebrows. I'm just gonna fill them in and I'm not gonna talk to you while I do this because I find it a little bit stressful and they need to be done so bad. I need to get them waxed and tinted. So they're a little bit tricky to fill in right now. But yeah, let's go. So I've just done my eyeshadow and I've done like a peachy look with a smoked out lash line and I don't know whether to put this black on my lower lash line or not, I'm so conflicted. I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to put mascara on and then if I feel like I want it on I can just like put it on over that I guess. Oh I don't know. Anyways I'm going to do my mascara now and before I do that I always curl my lashes so much, basically. A couple of years ago, well actually no, it'll be about five years ago now, I had this eyelash curlers from Model Zone and I did my eyelash with them and the puffy thing slipped off and it cut my eyelashes in half so I literally had little stubs as eyelashes and this eye has never grown back the same. They've grown back super straight so I have to make sure I really curl this eye, like I'll spend 10 times longer on this one. I've got a lash lift before, but I really didn't like it. Because I found when I had a lash lift that this eye, they just kept flopping down, like it really didn't hold it. This eye just curls so well, and this one just doesn't. I am actually gonna put this on my lower lash line. That's better. I literally love it when I do eyeliner like this. I just love it so much. Normally I would put eyelashes on when I put eyeliner on, but I'm not going to pop eyelashes on today just because when I wear eyelashes and I wear glasses, the eyelashes touch against them and it's really annoying. So I'm just going to pop some mascara on. Do you guys remember your first kiss? Because it's so weird, while I was putting that eyeliner on then, I was just thinking about my first kiss. And my first kiss wasn't a proper one, it was literally when I was, I think I was like in year five of school. And it was with this guy 
who I always had a little bit of a thing for because we were the two fat kids. And it's so weird because I found out the other week that this guy has dated a YouTuber and I know her and I'm just like, what a freaking small world because he is not a YouTuber at all. And it's just so weird that like, he's dated a YouTuber that I know. So strange. But yeah, it was on the field because we had a school field and I think we were walking back from like rounders or something and we pecked <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> that's my life made. And then my first actual proper kiss was horrible. One of my friends at the time like had a thing for this guy and he had a thing for her but she wanted me to have like a first proper kiss and she dared him to kiss me, so he did. And she timed it, she was stood right next to us, it was actually kind of awkward. But yeah, she timed it. Three seconds long, winning. Then he spread around school because people heard that he kissed me and I was like a troll back then. So he spread around school that I bit his tongue and then that became a thing and then I was like, fine. Which I didn't bite his tongue. And that guy who kissed me, his best friend, used to take the piss out of him for kissing me. When I went back to Sheffield, the best friend who used to take the piss out of him for kissing me because I was gross, matched me on Tinder. So I was like, ha! You Wally. So now that I've mostly done my makeup, I've got a different lip colour for every pair of glasses that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to start out with the nudist lip colour and this pair of glasses, which I am obsessed with. They kind of make me feel a bit like Harry Potter. So cute. So these are the glasses, quite difficult to show because they're just reflecting everything but I will insert a picture of me wearing them right here so you can see them properly without the reflection. But for these I thought I would pair quite a nude brown with them. Okay, for the next pair, I'm gonna do something so different, radical. We're gonna do blue. It's time for pink. glassesusa.com do sunglasses too and I have a cheeky pair of them these are Dolce & Gabbana oh, so fancy makeup for glasses video. I think I've settled on these ones being my favourite pair. I love them so much. Like I said, I will link glassesusa.com in the down bar and let me know what your favourite pair were on me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Bye.